All right, what do we have down here? All right, we got a nice little two. Wait, there's no way. That's a melanistic. I'm only like 10 kills into this grind, and I already have a melanistic. These are so rare. I grinded thousands of fallow and never even got one of these. Well, not thousands, like 2,000 maybe. Let's get him down. And maybe another one, too. All right. Yeah, that shot was a little high. We got that guy down, though. The melanistic, it was not a great shot. But he is small, too. So that doesn't matter as much. All right. Let's go down and find this guy. All right. Here he is. Oh, that is beautiful. I love the way these things look. They're one of my favorite things in the entire game. And I'm so glad that I managed to get one early on. I wish it would have been a bit bigger, but who cares? It's still a melanistic. And again, these things are just amazing. No way! It's like two runs later, and there's an albino in the same spot as that melanistic. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. I can't even shoot him either. He's a one, so I'm not able to kill him. Well, I guess we'll have to take him out at some point. But for now, maybe we'll just have to take one of those other ones. All right, what do we got at this lake? Nothing up there. There's some deer, just some does, though. Actually, no, that's a small buck, but can't take him. Uh, I think... Uh, oh, what? It's been, like, two runs. Actually, no, this is the same run as the melanistic, I think. I whack no, this is the next run. I whacked a doe in that run and she respawned as a piebald. Well, we got her down, so let's go find her. This is my first piebald ever. That is so cool. They're so pretty and they should make them more rare. So I think we are going to go ahead and go kill this guy because I moved all my stuff over for my bear ground. And there's actually a pretty big two down there. He would not be a diamond, but he's still pretty nice. But I looked at my loadout and realized I did not get really anything that great. So I think in honor of the high power weapons pack, we are going to sneak up on them and take him out with the 10 gauge. And I do have the snort wheeze collar on me so i think i'm gonna try to call him in and take him down with that so i got down into a spot and this is probably the best we're gonna get because none of this stuff would hide me and he is the one in the front and i might try to get either this guy or this guy if i get the chance but this is the main target and we're gonna try to take him with the 10 gauge because I actually have not killed something with this yet so we're gonna see if we can try to get him with it and let me make sure I have the buckshot on it I do so we're gonna start calling all right so we have not gotten his attention yet Maybe I'll try to sneak up just a bit more. Maybe try to call just a bit more. Let's see what this is the thing. Yeah, I can't call him with that. So. That's the wrong binoculars. I don't think he's going to want to come into this, so we might need to just sneak up to him. I might need to go around because I want a perfectly broadside shot because this gun is a little bit sketchy. That's, or at least that's what I've heard with, um, buckshot. Actually, 
He's coming in. Alright. We're just gonna get in a good spot. And preferably, I want him to come right through here and, like, stop right there. But, we'll have to see what... Actually, that's going pretty good. He's coming in right there. He is just about to get into a spot that I am willing to shoot him at. I might just shoot him right there. That looks like it could be a good shot. 50 to 60. Alright, we're gonna go. Alright, I think we, we got him. Alright, we got him. Oh my gosh. That was... That made my heart pound a bit. I had him good, and I just went for the shot. Alright, let's get the dog over here. Oh my gosh. That was so sketchy. Alright. That was close. Oh my goodness. It's a cool looking buck. He's almost like a spike horn. Alright, we're gonna tax that guy. Oh my gosh, that made my heart pound. Alright, we're going to go head back to the lodge and get these deer mounted. Alright, so we are back in the lodge. And I think we're going to move a couple things around. This is not the albino that I just shot. That was another one that I got off of a different spot on Revan Tuli. But I think we're going to take down this doe and put the melanistic right here. So he's kind of across from this albino let's see let's get that same pose as the albino that's close enough and then i think we're gonna put the other albino up here this guy and then we're gonna put the albino doe that was up there over here and then we'll just wait until I can get another albino buck to put there. And then I think we're going to put that piebald doe. Where are we going to put her? Let's put her. Let's just put her in place of this uh, Bosch diamond. And wait until we can actually get a diamond. Well, that will be it for this quick little video. And I will see you guys in the next one.